What's up guys, let's get this thing started, doing some more Guardian Druid PvP, um, this time in Twin Peaks. Uh, don't know if I'm going to be running the flag or killing shit, don't know yet, we'll find out here pretty soon. Um, DPS wise, it looks like our team's kind of stacked and we have two healers that have, uh, well the Druid healer has good gear, the Priest healer is not the best. So, don't know if Druid Healer wants to run the flag real quick, or if our uh, Feral wants to, or if the Shaman, but I don't know. Maybe I'll run it, and we'll just see what happens. But, uh, it doesn't look like the Horde's gonna fight too, too much in the middle, so I guess I'll go get flag. And when I say they're not gonna fight in the middle, it looks like they all peeled to fight in the middle. So, that's how it goes. If I knew they were gonna fight in the middle, I would've just stayed in the middle and fought in the middle. I always stealth to go into here. Just because, um, I want to keep an eye out of what's going on. So the shaman's got it there. I'm going to try to dash before he sees me. He does slow me, so I should go out of form and then back into form for dash. He knocks me off. It's actually helpful, so thank you for that. I throw a quick rejuve on myself. I go travel form for my jump. And, uh, yeah, should be moving pretty pretty steady here. Um, I am taking a little bit of damage, but I don't want to, I don't want to use my big cooldowns just yet. Uh, I'm going to throw a regrowth on me. I think he's purging me. And here's lightning lasso, which kind of sucks because I'm out of uh, form. So I need to go into form. I should use a friendly regen right here just to be safe. Uh, Rogue's going to jump on me. Their lock's taking some damage, so I have hope. I do fringy regen and bar skin, I believe, right there. Oh, and the druid healer just caught up to me. So now I have the druid healer with me. Um, he's in the middle. Those three, four guys right there, I'm going to try to get away from as fast as possible so I can travel form. I normally tell you not to outrun your healers. Um, that is normally not the best thing to do, but I do have over a million health. I still have almost two frenzy regions now, and I have my survival instincts. And the druid healer is pretty close to me, so... With all that said, it's time to run the flag. Uh, like I said, sometimes as a tank, you, know, you want to just kill stuff and beat the hell out of people but and piss people off. But sometimes you got to run flag. So if I have to run flag for us to win, I have to run flag for us to win. I don't like to sit down here just because it's, uh, it's you don't have an advantage down there. So I like to go upstairs. Upstairs is really nice for... Holding the flag just because it's a small tunnel to get in here. Small doorway. Um, if you have a hunter with a flare or anything like that. So there's a DK in the flag room now. Um, I don't want to sit too close to the edge where he can um, get me. So I throw my concentrated flames on him and a moonfire on him. Now I'm going here. I see the shaman come out and bust on the fire mage. So I might as well come out and DPS too. I, only, I don't have too many stacks right now. So, even without a healer, I think I can heal through this uh, Fire Mage pretty well. If more of them came up, there might be an issue, but um, I still have Frenzy Regen, Survival Instincts. I go ahead and use the Survival Instinct there and a Frenzy Regen. Um, waiting to see what comes up here kind of thing. He's fireballing me, so I go ahead and get in there because I know for a fact uh, he's going to break it because he's hitting me. And I have Ignite Dot on me, so that will break the freeze. And, uh, yeah, so I'm hoping... Uh, I can, I can kill him up here. Uh, just notice that the lock died with their flag carrier, so I'm going to try to jump down there as quick as possible. There's a hunter on the cap, but he got stunned, so good job horde in the flag room. Um, as you can see, there's still two or three people in, the, in our base. Um, this shaman just leaves, and the DK dies. So I don't know what it is lately, but if, it's like as soon as you get the first cap, uh, the other team just leaves. Uh, I, don't, I don't understand it whatsoever. Um, I don't know why you would leave after one cap, especially when it was that close kind of thing. Coming out here, uh, in front of the base, want to help out, uh, our healer, it, it looks like our healer already got the flag or our feral. It might be our feral. Um, he already got the flag. Druids are super fast, so I might as well stay here, help out on defense. We're not turtling, but we're not, not turtling. We're kind of just making sure they don't grab the flag kind of thing. Um, this shaman goes down quick. Uh, we had plenty of people on us. Here comes their healer, which is right here, Monk Healer. He does a good job uh, incapacitating me before I can get to him. But he did hit me with a, a melee move, so that does put the 30% slow on him since I'm running that uh, talent essence, not talent, essence in my neck. And the fire rage just blows him up pretty fast. Uh, we have a shaman here who's got a couple of poisons on him. 
Uh, his health is doing okay. It's not that bad. So I'm going to jump on the Demon Hunter off hill when I can. And by the time I look up, we already have a second cap. So well done, Feral. I got the first one, which kind of uh, broke their back. And then the Feral's just running it now for speed. Plus, I want to kill shit. So I'm going to try to kill shit. Um, it looks like that uh, Pally right there is a healer. So putting up my Moonfires for sure, trying to keep my Thrash up on everybody as much as possible. Even though th the Thrash Dot doesn't do much damage, it's a good bleed, especially on Rogue, so they can't vanish. Um, and everything else. It's just, it's a decent, it's not a huge damage, but it's, it's an okay damage. Gushing Wounds pops on this guy, got Moonfire and Thrash up on him. Incapacitate Roar right there to kind of slow him down. Um, I don't know where he's running to, but uh, okay, so I'm going to come in the water after him. He's going to kind of do a speed boost, and then I'm realizing there is a shit ton of them and not a shit ton of us. It looks like their whole team's here. We're keeping the whole team occupied and their healer. So, hell yeah, that's that's all you can ask for, right? Clearly, they don't give a shit about the flags anymore. They're just trying to DPS. I interrupt that heal there. Uh, I should be spreading my Moonfire around more, but for some reason, I'm focusing tunnel visioning on the healer. Um, but yeah, moon, my Moonfire should be up on everyone in this group. Uh, but we're doing a decent job uh, on this healer. But I look over, and now we have the Monk healer here. So I'm going to go ahead and jump on the Monk. Uh, he seemed pretty squishy that first time we fought. Go ahead and bash him right here. Um, and, yeah, he's going down pretty quick. So I think he is – looks like Lay of Hands was just used by the other healer. So we got a big cooldown out the way. But that Monk is super squishy. I'm off healing now as much as possible. Um, I see – uh, what is that? Bar Iron Bark. The Druid Healer used Iron Bark on the Priest Healer. Um, if he is running uh, the PvP talent for that, it increases all hots by 20%. So I throw a regrowth and a rejuve on him. And again, by the time I look up, we have the three cap. Um, I was second healer, so I out healed our Priest. And I was second in DMP DPS with 3.2 million, which isn't bad at all considering I ran flag from the beginning. So hopefully you enjoyed this video. I know it's a quick battleground, but it's it shows you a little bit of flag running, shows you a little bit of DPS, best way to DPS, and yeah, hopefully you enjoyed this video. If you did, please subscribe, and thank you for watching.